Welcome then to our family service for St Nicholas Day. It's really wonderful to have uh, with us um, a bishop. It's a tradition in the, um, uh, the churches, it, it, certainly from the past, uh, that you had um, a, a, a young person bishop and that one of the choristers was chosen to be uh, the, the, it used to be obviously the boy bishop when you only had uh, men bishops, but now we have women bishops. And it's really lovely to have Soraya with us as uh, the bishop for the day. And she is representing St. Nicholas, whose day it is today. And we think about the generosity of St. Nicholas and how he loved people so much that he wanted to share all his treasure with them, uh, especially uh, those who really needed it. So we begin our service this morning. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also, and also with, with you. you. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us Let rejoice, rejoice and be glad in it. Praise God who loves us. Praise, Praise God, God who cares. How oh, we have lit an Advent candle and a Paschal candle. And normally in church, we, this would have been the second uh, Sunday of Advent, and we'd be thinking about the prophets who pointed uh, and hoped uh, for a Messiah and for God's saving. And so we lit the candle. We light this candle to remind us that the love of God is like a light in the darkness. Blessed, Blessed be, God be God forever. forever. And we say together the opening prayer, Lord, direct, direct our, our thoughts and, and teach, teach us, us to pray. pray. Lift, Lift up our, hearts our hearts to worship you, you in spirit, spirit and, and in truth, truth through, through Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, our Lord. Lord. Amen. And the collect, the special prayer for today, St. Nicholas Day. Almighty Father, lover of all people, who chose your servant Nicholas to be a bishop in the church, that he might give freely out of the treasures of your grace. Make us people who are mindful of the needs of others, as they have themselves, as we have themselves received so teach us also to give through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And so we come to think about all the times when we haven't really followed the ways of love in our lives. All the things that separate us from God and his people. So let us remember that we often forget to love you, God and love other people as we should, and so we say sorry. Let us return to the Lord our God and say to him, Father, Father we have, we sinned, have sinned, sinned against him and against, against you. you. We, we are not, we are not worthy, worthy to be to called, be called your, children. your children. We, we turn, we turn to, you to you again. again. Have, have mercy, mercy on us, on us. bring, bring us, us back to yourself, to yourself. Uh, as those, those who once, once were, were lost, dead, but now have life, but now have life, have life through Christ Jesus our Lord. Lord. Amen. God, who loved the world so much that he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to be our saviour, forgives you all your sins and welcomes you into newness of eternal life. Amen. Blessed is the Lord, for he, he has, has heard, heard the, voice the voice of our, our prayers. prayers. Therefore shall our hearts dance for joy, and, and in our song, our song will we will praise our God. God. And now we have 
two readings, and so Isabel is going to read for us these two readings from the Bible. A reading from Matthew 19. Jesus okay. said, if you wish to be perfect, go, sell your possessions and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. When the young man heard this word, he went away, grieving for he had made possessions. Then Jesus said to the disciples, truly I tell you, it will be hard for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I tell you, it is easier for, for a camel to go through the eye of, of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. Acts 20.35 St. Paul said, In all this I have given you an example, that by such work we must support the weak. Remembering the words of the Lord Jesus, for he himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Thank you, Isabel. Now we're very honoured to have our bishop with us. Uh, we have Bishop Soraya and uh, Bishop Soraya is wearing her wonderful mitre. As you can see, it's gorgeous and gold, uh, very appropriate as well. And uh, she's going to be uh, talking to us as St. Nicholas. Hello, my name's St. Nicholas. Well, actually, apparently I became a saint. St. Nicholas. It's got a good ring about it, but I feel personally that I don't deserve the title. I lived in Mira in Asia Minor. That's present day Turkey. I was born in the fourth century into a very rich family. We had far too much and I didn't need the money. In fact, I don't think that it brought us happiness. The only good feeling was when I could give it away. I became a Christian because I heard some missionaries talking about Jesus, who had explained that the creator God loved the world so much that he sent his son Jesus to show us all how we should live, living a generous sacrificial life, loving God and loving our neighbors. The simplicity of their message was so moving, I was baptized. I then studied the Bible and I was even chosen to be Bishop of Mira. There are quite a few legends about me, but as with most legends, there is always something behind them, even if the stories do become even more fanciful over time. One day, I heard a very poor family in my town, where the young woman desperately needed a dowry, otherwise they would never be able to, otherwise they would never be able to be married and would live in terrible circumstances if they didn't. Women in my day needed to be married to escape starvation as women weren't supposed to work. Well, I didn't want the family to know who the money came from and I went, but I really wanted to help them out. So one day I climbed on top of the roof of their house and dropped a bag of gold for each of the dowries into the hole in the roof, which acted as a chimney. The houses of the poor were only rough wooden structures. I didn't even need a ladder. On another occasion, I was on a boat at sea and a huge raging storm arose with waves that even terrified the sailors. Jesus had prayed as he calmed the storm. So I followed his example and the storm died away and we all sailed in safely to port. For a while, the Emperor Diocletian put me in prison as he dis really disliked Christians. But when Constantine became the emperor, everything changed as he loved God and encouraged everyone else to do so as well. Do you love Jesus? Do you want him to be the centre of your life? I hope and pray so. If you do, don't forget we are all his disciples and we can tell others about his love, just as I heard that message so long ago. We can give generously as well, because it really is more blessed to give than to receive, and it makes us so much happier to share when we keep our treasure of time, talents and money just for ourselves. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. And it's good to see the uh, to see your crook there, the bishop's crook there in the background as well. And as uh, and as the bishop has reminded us to be uh, generous, so we continue to perhaps be able to give to the church. We'd normally have a collection as well, 
as we think about giving to the poor, we're able to sing together now. Uh, now we've got a wonderful recording of Good King Wenceslas, but we do need to mute ourselves, so I better do that as well. And we're going to sing along Good King Wenceslas together. So we come to affirm our faith together. Praise God who loves us. Praise God who cares. Let us declare our faith in God. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God, the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Now Bishop Sarai will be leading us in our intercessions. A circle prayer. Let us imagine throwing a pebble into the center of a pond and the circles of ripples that move out from the center. As the pebble bounces on the surface, we pray firstly for those closest to us, our family and closest friends, for their health, safety, needs, joys, and fears. 
As the ripple extends, we pray for our wider family and friends who we might not see each week for their well-being. As the ripples reach out towards the land, we pray for those we only see rarely and might not see this year for a blessing this Advent time. And as the ripples reach their furthest point, we pray for this world and its people, for peace and generosity, for the needs of this week and for the future of peace. God of creation, who speaks to us through thunder and whisper, who loves us as if there were but one of us to love, hear the prayers of our hearts. Amen. Now a prayer Amen. written by St. Jerome, who lived at the same time as me, St. Nicholas. Lord, you have given us your word for a light to shine upon our path. Help us to meditate on that word and to follow its teaching, that we may find in it the light that shines more and more until the perfect day. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessing, honour and glory be yours here and everywhere, now and forever. Amen. And the Advent blessing. Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you, scatter the darkness from before your path and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. <laughs>